Hi everyone, back to the more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my uh, thought of the day. Really quick video, um, the news breaking about Joe Linton. Yeah, we've already just got over the news that we're going to miss our midfield maestro for the season, thanks to a, a surgery on his tendon and his groin. And now there's a, a, a very, very sad story, really, I think, in the Daily Mail by Craig Hope about a contract standoff between Joe Linton and the Newcastle United. So so th could this be the last kind of game that we see of Joe Linton for Newcastle United, smashing the Mackhams as you can see he's backhanding young Joe Bellingham there in the, in the derby? Um, you know, because it, it sounds very much like there's a stalemate here between the club and Joe Linton himself. So, so basically there's been no breakthrough He's got 18 months left on his contract. Apparently, what, what is being said is that Joe Linton, his wage demands are beyond what the club's hierarchy are wanting to pay. And apparently, Joe Linton wants to be the uh, the highest paid player at the club. Now, he, he signed for 40 million quid from, from Hoffenheim. He's just recently, well, he signed a six-year deal, um, 40 million quid signing in in, uh, in 2019, you know, in in. in Joe Linton's story at Newcastle is, is almost something straight out of a Hollywood script. The character arc of this player is is been nothing nothing but sensational. I don't think I've seen a player transform as much as Joe Linton has ever since Gareth Bale went from being a left back that couldn't get a game was going to get sold to Birmingham City to the best left winger on the planet. Joe Linton has turned from a, a shot shy, bang average striker who used to fall over in the box to a midfield powerhouse, and that's largely due to the influence of Eddie Howe. Yes, the player as well, his want, his desire, his graft. Um, and it would be really, really disappointing to see it end like this. It really would. And, you know, reading the article from, from Craig, that's, you know, it's brilliantly written by Craig Hope as always. Uh, and he says that Eddie Howe is, is adamant he doesn't want to lose Joe Linton. Joe Linton's 27 years old now. He's at the peak of his powers. The influence that this lad has on the Newcastle United starting eleven is is it's almost immeasurable at times. You know, he's 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 the physicality, he's the beast, he's the he's the guy that gets things going, he smashes and tackles and wins the ball, he he sprints up to the end of the pitch, carrying it 40 yards to win your free kick, or he or he pops it off for an assist or he gets a goal, or he doesn't want to, and he gets in the box, he climbs high and wins headers, and he's just turned into such a brilliant footballer at Newcastle United. But you know, during the time of him going from being that that striker who couldn't hit a barn door to this midfield powerhouse, he, he's now a, a regular Brazilian international. So he'll have agents in his ears saying that you know you need to get a better contract and you're worth more than that, Joe, and everything else. And, and the story goes, he wants to be the highest paid player. I think Bruno signed a new contract recently for there's a two hundred grand a week. So so obviously Joe Litton wants more than that. So again, there's a bit of a, a domino effect here because if Joe Litton signs a new deal for two hundred grand a week, then Isaac wants a better one and. And Trippier wants a better one, and, and Botman wants a better one, and, and it, it, you know, and so forth and so forth. But I've always been an ad advocate of it. That's the going rate in football. If you want the best, you got to pay for the best, and you got to pay them. Um, you know, the going rate. You know, you look at some players who are nowhere near earning the stripes. You know, Marcus Rashford and three hundred grand a week for you know just turn up for Man United one in every 10, 12 games if he's lucky. Joe Linton when he plays for Newcastle, yes, he's been injured this season, but when he plays, he's he's absolutely sensational. He's influential. He's transformative. Doesn't matter who he's playing against, Luton Town or Manchester City, and he's fantastic in every single time he plays against those teams. And my worry here is that you know if if the club have to sell him, is basically what they're saying is that with eighteen months left to go in his contract, he could leave on a free. Um, Eddie doesn't want to lose him, but the club might have to sell him. And, and, and Joe Linton could be one of those assets that Darren Eels was was referencing, and we, we don't even know anything about that behind the scenes. So so it's really worrying to, to hear this news. Now the only caveat with this, and, and, and it's almost kind of you know, um, out of the tragic news of his injury could actually work out well for the club. The story goes that Joe Linton might climb down a little bit from his demands uh, as he's injured and he might sign a contract extension during his recovery. And then that'll, you know, kind of take care of everything there as well. But at the minute, those talks haven't been held with the player and with the club. Um, and it is quite concerning. It really is because uh, we've all grown to just adore Joe Linton for, for the player that he is and the influence that he has. And I don't think he'll be short of, of suitors. I think if, if people think they can they can get him, I think you know clubs in the Premier League would go for him. I think you know likes of you know likes of you know even Arsenal or a, 
uh, in Manchester United, they could do with a powerhouse midfielder, box to box, who who can win a ball and smash it to people because they ain't got one at the moment, you know. And you know, teams abroad as well. Maybe does does Barcelona or Real come in for him, or, or one of the Serie A clubs, or something like that? Um, you know, so you know, we really want to tie Joe down here. And I really hope that this contract situation can get sorted out because he is such a big player for us, and not to mention the fact as well, we already hearing about the stories about Bruno being settled and everything else. Now these two are like brothers. And, and if Joe Linton does get sold, you can only think it's going to piss off Bruno Guimarães even more, you know, in terms of um, his his future at the football club as well. And if he is worried and he is asking questions, so that his best mate and his, you know, his mucker is not going to really go down very well either. But but even besides all that, Joe Linton has still got so much to give as a player. Um, he's, he's, he's so influential to the team. You know, we miss his presence when he's not there, his physicality, his, his ability, you know, his, his leadership, you know, his desire. We miss it all when he's not there. And, and until another player steps up and gives you that, um, Joe Litton is key. You know, he is key. And we, we need to tie him down. At 27 years old, he's got his best years ahead of him. So we want them in a black and white shirt. And it remains to be seen who we sign this window. If we do sign anybody, is it Phillips on loan? I don't know who it is. You know, we're all watching Louis Miley with expectation for his progression to see how well he, he progresses. But it's a lot of pressure put on young shoulders to, to ask a kid to be you know, what Joe Litton is for you or what Bruno is for you if we sell one of these two players. So it is a bit concerning and I really hope that the, the club can get this all sorted and tied up and, and taken care of because this player is massive for Newcastle United, massive for Eddie Howe um, and I really hope that, that we can get the deal done. Apparently the club in, in the background are looking at, you know, some replacement, surprise, surprise, Bournemouth players are linked in there. I'm not even going to name them because I'm sick of talking about Bournemouth players to Newcastle. I really, really am. It's starting to get on my nerves. Uh, but yeah, Joe Linton, let's get it sorted, guys. Let's tie him down. He's, he's invaluable. He's He's been part of this this progress. He's been part of what's made as a Champions League club. So let's get the guy signed down to a, a new contract. Hopefully they can meet in the middle. You know, I think Joe loves the club and, you know, as we stood by him through, you know, through the, the tough times. So hopefully he'll repay that faith as well. But let us know in the comments below what you think about possibly losing Joe Linton. Uh, disastrous for me, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, football has a way of doing that. As long as you replace him with quality, you don't miss it. Who knows what's going to happen? But yeah, for me, I think he's vital to the squad, and vital to Eddie Howe. Uh, but we always like to hear from you guys. Smash a comment in, guys. And, uh, and if you haven't already, click subscribe. We'll love to come join us. We're over 6,300 subs now. So loads of room for you. Recommend us to family and friends. All free content and never more. But if you want to give a little bit back, there is a little membership option down there. Click whichever one suits you best. We'll be back with some more content soon. Hopefully, uh, be, be saying Joe Linton signed a new contract <laughs> in the next few weeks. But uh, fingers crossed, everybody. Have a bell. See you later. Cheers.